to other news. Leading skincare experts, laser specialists and industry professionals attending the 17th Dubai World Dermatology and Laser Conference and Exhibition showcased cutting-edge laser treatment technologies and also discussed new techniques for treating major skin diseases including skin cancer. His Highness Sheikh Hashar bin Maktoum Al Maktoum attended the opening ceremony and briefly toured the exhibition area from various local and international companies showcasing, showcasing latest skin care products and advanced technologies in the field of dermatology, laser and plastic surgery. A major shift in skin care treatment across the industry, according to leading skin care specialists, is the use of phototherapy to reduce the fine lines and wrinkles, which also improves skin tone and texture and reduces pigmentation without any side effects. Phototherapy treatment usually involves the use of the latest generation LED technology, including a combination of blue, red and near infrared lights at an optimum intensity. And along with a proven safety profile, skin specialists also revealed that the procedure allows patients to choose the right treatment plan. As sunburn, sun rashes and summer acne are some of the major skin concerns for UAE residents, experts stress that non-invasive light treatment will help patients by harnessing the power of light and offer rejuvenated and redefined and refined skin. Phototherapy isn't a new treatment, it's been around for a long time, um, but as Dermalux we've taken the, the technology and we've advanced it um, because we're, imp we're interested in results and in efficacy um, and obviously delivering the, the solutions to the clinics. I think problem skin conditions, I think um, particularly treating um, maybe darker skin types can be a challenge. Um, so we, we have to be very careful about not creating too much inflammation, for example, or at least offsetting that. So things like acne, um, so or where we're treating sort of spots and problem skin conditions, particularly when there's heat. Obviously, I know that creates quite a condition. So the nice thing with the, the Dermalux treatment is it treats it, but in a very anti-inflammatory way. Um, so we have programs inside the system for, for acne, mild to moderate acne, and even and sort of more severe conditions. Um, we're also then using it to treat things like pigmentation, um, but it's great for rejuvenation, so from general co sort of collagen and stimulation, hydration of the skin, skin tone, texture. So yeah, there's a wide range of conditions that we can use. As most invasive surgical procedures often leave behind scars and lesions, more and more consumers are opting for minimal invasive procedures in the treatment of many skin problems, including hair loss and other skin deterioration issues. One key highlight of laser treatment is that laser skin resurfacing removes skin layers with precision and creates new skin cells that form during healing. A scientific conference on the sidelines will discuss the key topics including skin diseases, pathogens and the latest, skin, latest in skin cancer treatments. So nowadays we have lasers which are actually high energy beams, collimated solid beams which we use to treat different parts of your body. So for instance if you have absorption of the laser into the water content in your skin, you can treat it as collagen stimulation and anti-aging. If you have it into your pigment, you can treat hair removal, you can do laser hair removal as well as you can use laser to reduce pigments. We use lasers to get rid of tattoos. We use lasers nowadays for stretch marks. We use even lasers for fat reduction. But there are no shortcuts. So as a dermatologist, it is our duty because we are doctors. So we are supposed to explain to the patient that these are not simple beauty regimes. They may involve lifestyle change. They may involve intake of certain medications or vitamins for your skin. And then we can treat a whole, whole host or a whole range of them. The number one cause of skin cancer is the sun. Okay, so sun protection, sun protection, sun protection. And I will repeat this three times all the time. And when, when, when I tell you sun protection, it doesn't just mean just lather yourself with just, you know, uh, sunscreens. No, you have to seek the shade. If the sun is outside, try not to stay out in the sun. We see a lot of fads right now, a lot of trends that, you know, we have young individuals, especially women, who are sitting down, you know, on the beach, okay, getting like, you know, getting a tan because they think it's beautiful and they think it's cosmetically pleasing. But we have to tell them that sun, if it doesn't affect you now, it'll probably affect you 20, 30 years from now. So that's very, very important. Another thing is, you know, sometimes if they don't tan from the sun because we have a little bit of clouds, uh, what happens is that they end up going to their tanning booths and it's these are little special beds uh, in which they uh, have a little tan. It's like with a special light. That also can lead to skin cancer. It's actually even worse than going out in the sun. So we always have to tell them they have to be careful from this.